So, so I mean, if I could just uh, stretch that a little bit further, one of the things I've, I've had very fortunate time to see firsthand is the, is the role of volunteering within, um, within the NHS. And it seems to be over the past year that the ability to cut red tape so people like uh, St John Ambulance can, can help on wards through to the ability to mobilise volunteers on the ground. So even just uh, identifying where there's gaps in volunteers in terms of time and, and uh, even helping on wards. Is that something that you, you anticipate will increase over the coming years, both the technology to support volunteering, but also uh, a drive to increase volunteers themselves? Yes, I think so, because, as you, again, as you rightly say, Dean, we've seen fantastic examples of that uh, over the course of the last year, um, both in terms of the national volunteer response, but also local communities mobilising as well. And the current um, you know, dramatic example of that is the NHS COVID vaccination programme. Uh, if you've been to any of your local uh, vaccination services or, or centres, you will have seen that as well as the brilliant work that GPs and uh, nurses uh, and other NHS staff are doing, the force multiplier are the volunteers. And this is a huge community mobilisation across the country. Uh, and that speaks to the fact that part of the success with uptake here is that this is not just a medical exercise. This is also reaching into communities with community leaders and engaging people, whether that's in uh, mosques or uh, sports halls uh, or rugby clubs, or today, I'm pleased to say, uh, Westminster Abbey, where uh, patients will now be being uh, vaccinated in Poets Corner. And, and, and just related to that, thank you, on, on the vaccination policies, I've been fortunate uh, to volunteer as a vaccination volunteer myself and, um, and seen actually the huge amount of operational effort that goes in behind the scenes. I don't think it, it's quite realised how much goes on to make sure that the whole process from the, the length of the queues when there, when there needs to be queues through to uh, the process post-vaccination with you know, everyone from Sir John Ambulance again, uh, being involved in that. Um, just related to that, I, I proposed in a report last year with some colleagues the idea of uh, uh, effectively a uh, NHS cadet scheme uh, to encourage more young people to volunteer at local hospitals. Is that something you think would be potentially could be explored in the future? Yes, I think it could be. I think um, the uh... The, the, the use of the word cadet has certain resonances that we have to be thought, thoughtful about because there have been nursing cadet programs, uh, the uh, Royal College of Nursing, uh, the Prince of Wales and others have been involved in some of those kind of discussions in the past. Uh, but the the uh, uh, the idea behind the idea, I think, is, is absolutely right. Thank you. I'll pass back to you, Chair. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Neil Hanvey had some follow-up questions.